Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Tana's next big step, the big feature upgrade that they launched yesterday. They launched this kind of low key um, and I understand why they did it, but it is a huge upgrade and I want to share it with you in this video. So what did they launch? They launched semantic functions. Sounds like a big term in the realm of ontologies and whatever, but it's super practical. To explain what semantic functions are, let's take a step back and think about how fields and search in Tana work right now. If you've been playing with Tana or you've been following my videos, you know that in Tana you can define fields for specific nodes, right? So a source super tag for a book, for example, can have a field that says this book comes from an author, right? And then you have the source super tag that has a field um, author, and then you have a person tag or author tag, and that field links these two together, right? And then you go to the author page and you see, okay, this person is the author for a specific book, for example. That's already incredibly powerful, right? That is a great way of grouping um, backlinks and finding things. You can define a search that says, okay, show me all these sources that are from a particular author, right? Show me every book an author has written. Um, and that's amazing. What Tana introduced yesterday is kind of an evolution of that concept and it takes it into a much more powerful realm. So what do I mean by that? By semantic functions, you can say that a field not just links two nodes together, but in what way it links these two together, right? So far, the links have been kind of implicit in that the author field kind of made sense, okay, is an author, but Tana didn't understand it. And you couldn't search for these relationships across multiple levels. And that is something that is now possible. And before I go into too much abstract um, theory here, let's actually jump in and I show you uh, what we can now do with a demo. So here we are in Tana and what I'm going to show you is two examples actually of these semantic functions in Tana. We're going to start with a very practical goal setting uh, example and then we're going to go off the beaten path a little bit uh, from what you usually see in productivity videos and we're going to track historical uh, art movements um, just because we can. So let's jump into the goal setting example. Now, first, the super tag system that we have for this. We have areas, goals, projects, and tasks. So this is something you might be using for Tiago Forte's building a second brain system. We have areas um, and then where you might want to organize goals and related project and tasks for that um, specific goal and that specific area. And before I show you the super tag definitions, actually let's jump in and see um, how this looks like in practice. So we have, for example, two areas, health and career, right? That makes sense as usual area examples. And now if we go here, you see the area tag isn't defined. This is our most high level tag, nothing to see here but we have goals. For example, I have three goals here that are basically out of my real life right now. Um, I want to squat at one time, 1.5 times my body weight. Um, and that goal has an area field that links to the health area, right? Um, same for run for an hour without break, also has an area that goal belongs to also health, and then get 10,000 subscribers for this very YouTube channel. If you wanna help, subscribe below. Um, and that is for the career area. So far so good. This is basically something that um, we could do before this new update, right? This is 
basic features of Tana. And we're doing the same here for uh, projects. So I have uh, four projects here, follow a fitness program, running workout, plan, uh, post a video per week and get better at making thumbnails and then tasks for each of these projects, right? So every project has a goal um, associated with it and every task has a project associated with it. Now, what I could do previously was normal searches, right? So here I'm searching for every task where the project is follow my fitness program for three, six week cycles. And ta-da, I have three different tasks here that are associated with that project. So far, so good. Now, what we can do with semantic uh, functions is something crazy. We're going to go in and say, okay, I want every task where the project is part of my health area, right? So I want every task that is related to the health um, area of my life. So what we're going to do is project field and then insert another field here. So I just typed um, the larger than sign. And now we do components rec. That is the field that we're searching for. And now I'm looking for at health, right? So I'm looking for tasks where the project is part of a component of the health area. And boom, here we are. Uh, we have all the workouts um, for the lifting and the running because these workouts are part of a project that is part of a goal that is part of the health area in my life, right? That is pretty amazing. That is really, really powerful because now I can say, okay, I'm going to make this my um, health tasks and I'm going to group this by the project. Um, don't want to see the not set project part. And now I have here a search that gives me every health related task associated with every project um, that I am doing that is part of my health area. That's to me at least amazing. Now, how do we set this up? What we have to do is if we go into the task definition and the project field, we're going to set the project field to instance of the project super tag, right? So uppercase um, or capitalized, whatever uh, project field is an instance of the lowercase project super tag. And down here, we have field has semantic function. And if we set this toggle, we can select the semantic function. And right now it, there only exists one and that is part of. But you can think of different semantic uh, functions that you could um, define. Maybe Tana lets us uh, define those uh, ourselves or uh, they come up with some. But for now we have the part of semantic function, right? And that lets us say, okay, whatever is linked in this field is part of the other thing, right? So this task is part of a project. And then in the project, we have um, the same setup. We have a goal that is an instance field of the goal super tag. And again, semantic function part of. And of course, in the goal, Super tag, we have the same thing, area, field, and then field has a semantic function of part of, right? And that lets us create that step-by-step -step function that we can then search recursively. Now, this example just was um, productivity, which is cool, but of course you can do all sorts of other things, right? In the announcement, um, they shared an example of authors living in a city that is part of a province that is part of a country, right? Again, part of, part of, part of semantic functions. Um, 
what I want to show as an example that maybe is less common, um, but I find interesting is tracking historical art movements is also something you could do, for example. So um, let's look into that um, right now. So that's the second demo here, tracking historical art movements. We have a cultural movement, a sub movement and a painting, for example. Um, and the cultural movements we're looking at are romanticism and realism. Um, and we have emerging romanticism, French romantic paintings and French realism, right? And so uh, emerging romanticism is part of romanticism, the cultural movement, French romantic paintings, of course, as well. And French realism is part of realism, the art movement makes sense. Now, then we have three paintings here, right? This is uh, Joseph Vernet, uh, Shipwreck, um, and the movement here is Emerging Romanticism. And you can see here, the cultural movement then is Romanticism, right? Um, and here we have a painting, The Charging Chasseur, um, French Romantic painting, again, Romanticism. And then we have one uh, from Jules Breton, uh, The End of the Working Day, French Realism, part of Realism Art Movement. Now, you collect paintings in your Tana workspace and you want to find all the paintings that are in one way or the other associated with um, Romanticism. And so we define a life career here, give me all the paintings where the movement is part of romanticism, right? Recursively. And that gives me those two pictures. I can run the same query, but for uh, realism, and it gives me the one realism painting that we have in our workspace. And again, if we look at this um, in the super tag definitions, let's see here. Um, we have the cultural movement and that has the semantic function part of, right? So this is how we link these two together. Now I find this super exciting because it allows me to create deeper models of the relationships in my Tana workspace, right? Um, I showed you goal setting, I showed you historical art movements. You could do that for philosophy, for literature styles, um, for authors, for machines that are um, part of a larger historical movement, uh, inventions, whatever you come up with, right? With just that one semantic function that we have so far, part of, you can already create super detailed models of how things are related and can find things recursively by looking just at the high level concept that has all these child concepts that are part of it. So that makes me really excited. I hope it uh, brings you joy too. Um, and I'm very excited to see what other semantic functions we might use in the future or what models you come up with. Um, share those in the comments below or on Twitter. Um, also, if you want to hear more of my insights into Tana and how to use it and new features, um, subscribe below, click the bell uh, to be notified um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.